what is going on everyone and welcome to episode 12 of Munching Malta. So we're coming towards the end of this series. We're up here in Masta, so this is in the middle of Malta. And we're gonna call to a little, this is a special episode again, this isn't your average restaurant. This one has wheels. it is like positioned in the most beautiful place you're overlooking like the whole top side of Malta it's on like the side of the road next to the main road so it obviously is positioned very very strategic in the sense that you're getting business from people coming and going in and out of Malta which is quite a busy town in general what I love about it is it's so so simple you have this truck here and it's not very big I mean it's a two-man show if even and then you have the smoker which is attached in the back as well so their main food is smoked food and that's what they focus on so you, it's obviously just smoked in the back, brought inside, cut, all the compliments are put into the sandwiches and then it's shipped out of there so it's a very very small service place but it's just the perfect size for this kind of niche market which is smoked and barbecued meats. David was just basting the meat so he has a brisket and I think it's a pork belly in the smoker right now so he's just sparking it up. Now the smoke is starting to bellowing out of it, you can smell it immediately from that wood burning. This is one of my favourite foods to eat, it's like smoked slow cooked meat, nothing, nothing can beat it. What? Meats do you actually smoke thin? Do you smoke pork? Obviously, you smoke beef. Yeah, we, we have the pork, pork shoulder, uh, we have the beef, uh, we even have beef brisket. So each uh, meat has a different cooking time, then I presume? Even depends depends on the cut. Yeah, basically. Okay, okay. And what wood are you smoking with? Mix, sometimes I use ash, okay. um, uh, olive. I'm, olive I'm, wood, yeah, I'm yeah. sticking to olive lately because it leaves a very good smell. Well. Yeah, yeah. Um, So that meat is on, but that won't be ready for another six, seven, eight hours. Smoking starts now and he'll come back this evening and finish it off. So it does, it's a six, seven, eight hour process depending on the meat. But he has some pulled pork here that I'm going to try. And for the spices, it is mustard and a secret spice blend that he might tell me, but he would have to kill me, he said. So if I do find out, I will tell you and I will take the hit. Promise we will go home and you will use this and smoke your own foods. the star of the show is here it is the pulled pork bun so very very simple just it's a kind of traditional Maltese bread you have some racula and the filling is just a mound of juicy tender pulled pork literally like spilling all over the sides not over complicated and that's like I always preach that a simple food done well is always gonna be better than something over complicated and takes away from like the main ingredient I haven't bitten it yet but there's juices falling out onto my hands if that's not a good sign, then I do not know what is. I have to take a bite, I have to take a bite. Oh, I'm <laughs> genuinely, I'm so excited for this man. Oh my god. The second you bite into this, your mouth is just filled with these juices and bits of onion throughout it. There's a barbecue taste, but it's the smoky flavor that you get in the back of your throat. It sticks around and lingers. You can even, it smells off the burger. It's sweet, it's smoky. Obviously those seasonings and the mustard gives it a kick. There's obviously like a sugar, so it's the barbecue component that gives it that little bit of extra sweetness. And when you're sitting here at the table, the smoker is on behind me. The smoke is like wafting down, I'm getting the smells. It just makes like, the whole atmosphere itself is just, it's just, it's worth it. So not only do you have the beautiful juicy meat on the inside, but you have this bread that is drenched in the juices of it. But there is logic and there is a top process that has to go into making the perfect sandwich. As I sit here, eating this wrap, overlooking the top of Malta, I could not picture a better start to this week. Well, that's my main thing. Eat Malta, yeah, yeah, okay, perfect, perfect. So you can find Eat Malta at all social media platforms, particularly on Facebook, so please do go over Give them a shout, let them know the Fit Kitchen sent you. So that is gonna wrap up this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And as always, keep on cooking. I want it.